Hey guys, Greg here. It is Wednesday, October 9th, and it is the calm before the Milton storm here. Now, I live in like dead center of Polk County in Florida, and um, right now it's it's pretty calm. It's, it's pretty good here, but uh, I'm expecting it to get a lot worse. Now I've taken the lazy man's way out and I haven't boarded up any of my windows. I've, I've never really needed to do that in the past, so I'm just gonna, just gonna go with it. However, my neighbors have gone full window boarding and they did a, like a perfect job too. Look at that, that's amazing. Also, I was able to pull the cars into the garage here so that they'll be protected. Normally there's so much stuff in the garage, I can't even get a car in here, but uh, we move stuff around and we're able to get them in. And this is a tree that's in my backyard. We'll see if it uh, stands up, see if it is able to survive the storm. Also, we got a banana tree right there. Some, well, multiple banana trees actually. Some other trees here. We'll see if any of this stuff makes it. Also, we've got a bunny that lives back here somewhere. Hopefully he, she, and their family will make it through the storm. One bit of good news though, is that uh, my wife actually won this generator here at a raffle at her work. So um, yeah, we'll be able to hook this into the house. I got the cable here already and it's already set up to where I've got the um, connector outside that hooks into the, into the uh, breaker box up there. And yes, I already have the transfer kit here so that I don't uh, injure any line workers. So basically what you have to do here is you flip this off, turns off the main power, and then that allows you to turn on the uh, the generator switch right here. And then this here is the connection from the outside to the inside. It is a 30 amp uh, connection. And this is my little generator here that I've used in, well, probably for the past 20 years, ever since Charlie, Francis, and Jean. Uh, it still works great, but it, it can't do the whole house like this, uh, like this big honker can. I've also got three containers of gasoline here to hopefully get us through. Last time we had an issue a significant issue. It took about seven days before we got power back again. And my little guy right here worked like a champ, but it can only do the refrigerator and a couple of fans and maybe a couple of lights. So uh, this this big deal here will be able to run the air conditioner and the water heater and you know refrigerator, pretty much everything. Plus I don't have to run cables all over through the house. One thing I am a little concerned about is here in the game room because in the past, I've had this ceiling here leak and then start dripping down on everything. And I mean, this would really suck if uh, all my classic stuff that I've been collecting since I was a kid uh, got damaged. So I, I don't know, I may take all the Jaguar stuff and, and the games and everything down and then cover the TV and kind of cover this area just in case this uh, leaks. Recently it did leak and we got the roof fixed, but um, you know, this is gonna be a whole different uh, matter. See, you can even see little spots on the ceiling where it's where it's dripped before so but it got up in there uh, a couple of months ago and I was really concerned that this would all get damaged but so I may just take this down people get it there's bands and they want and it's not going to be right now hurricane force right now but still this is something that could be a problematic and so I mean I just think like if you're if you're elderly or something like that what would be the better option like you know I would advise probably just going to the shelter right now rather than trying to get on the interstate all right now it's about 208 in the afternoon and it's starting to pick up a little bit raining I don't even think it's close enough to us yet. I think we're gonna get hit probably later tonight. All right, it's a little bit after four o'clock and uh, it's raining. You kind of see it there in the cul-de-sac kind of banding there a little bit. But uh, it's raining, it's a little windy. It's not too bad here. See some trees blowing around. Here's the trees in the backyard. Not blowing around too bad, just a little bit. Just seems to be a bit of a rain event at the moment. And I'm under an umbrella, so I don't want to get wet. Oh, I hear a siren. Uh-oh, that's not good. I still hear it though. Just barely. I'm thinking it's probably not a good idea to be driving out in this weather though. 
might be a little uh, bad idea. Oh, there it goes. I can see it go by. Fire truck. All right, the wife made hurricane brownies. I like those much better than the potatoes and ugh, Brussels sprouts. Yeah, take those. Thank you very much. Oh uh, yeah, I'm gonna do the brownie and uh, some milk. You know, gotta gotta keep my spirits up. All right, well, I guess I'll have some potatoes after all. I kind of like these kind of potatoes, but I ran out of ketchup. So it's 4.39 and this is the current storm tracker at the moment. And I am actually like right there where my finger is pointing over there, right over here. As you can see, the track is supposedly going right over top of me, essentially. So this is going to be fun. And just a little bit later, 5.03, and it looks like it's only going to be a 1 when it hits us now. That's good news. Thursday at 2 a.m. All right, it's 6.52. This door keeps swinging open and closed and slamming against the pool enclosure. So I'm going to step out here and put a brick in front of it. Got a couple bricks right here. That should do it. <laughs> Actually, I might need a few more here. There we go. Of course, now I'm stuck out here in the rain. I got to go all the way around. Oh, oh, my tree's still up. That's good. Just uh, hope the bunnies are doing good. Man, this rain is cold. I got to get inside. Yep. It's getting kind of rough out here. All right, so I remembered I had some plastic from uh, doing some painting before in this box. I've already exploded it out, but I thought what I would do is take this plastic here and cover up over the top of this and then cover up over all of this here just in case. Uh, you know, I'd hate for it to get all ruined, especially the Jaguar stuff. If I have to take it down, I will, but um, for now, I think I'll just cover it. All right, there we go. I mean, I know it's not the greatest job in the world, but, you know, it's something. Anyways, again, if water drips down here, it's just going to drip on the plastic and then down, you know, and I don't have it covering the all the game systems because this weight of this right here is just going to pull the whole thing down. There's nothing really holding it up there except the boxes. So, uh, you know, again, I hope there's really nothing, nothing to all this, but better to have something than nothing, I guess. It's about 7.23 ish and uh, we still have power, but I keep hearing this, this banging noise up in the ceiling, up in the attic there. Of course, now there's nothing, um, but I'll stand here for 20 minutes and uh, there'll be nothing. Let's look out the window here. It's kind of hard to see with the light on. Let me turn it off. Oh, that doesn't work either. I got to get it right up against the glass here. Hold on. Uh... No, no good. Oh, wait. No, oh, that's just my glasses. <laughs> yeah, it's dark. Can't really see a whole lot, but you might be able to see the tree whipping around right there, right outside the game room window. Maybe. I don't know. Probably not. 8.15 now. And uh, you can see here's the hurricane track. Again, I'm over here-ish and all that malarkey, but what's scary is that if you listen, you can hear the noises up there in the attic. I was thinking this noise might actually be coming from the fireplace. I never use this fireplace, but it's here. Just stepping outside to see what it looks like. Um, 
Yeah. I mean, tree up there is getting a little blown, but not too bad. I mean, it is on the way. It's not uh, even close really to hitting us at full force yet. Fortunately, when it does get here, it should only be a category one, which I think is under a hundred miles an hour, which, you know, I can, I can deal with that. Oh, there we go. Oh, I'm getting wet. Standing right here above my overhang here. I don't dare go out there too far. Okay, it's about 9.12 right now, and I thought I would take a look at Tico's power outage map. Now we are in this area, and we still have power, so we're good, but man, check out Tampa. They're getting pretty well wiped out over there in terms of power. Just poking my head out here to take a look at the pool. Some trash in there, but not too much yet. But uh, you can hear it whipping up pretty good here. Ooh, wow. Already got a panel out. That one's been out for a while. We gotta replace this whole thing. It's kind of a mess. Taking a look at the front yard and yeah, it's, it's picking up. Picking up pretty bad out here. Whoa. I don't know what that whistling noise is. It's not raining though, it's just very windy. And we're not in the eye yet. The eye probably won't be here for another couple of hours. It's just really, whoa, windy. Oh, here it comes, here it comes. Whoa, yeah, there we go. Oof. Forgive the pun, but this just blows my mind at how these storms occur and you know how we deal with them and how we live through them and that they even exist. It just blows my mind. Sometimes you got to wonder about these storms, right? Sometimes you got to wonder. Forgot to mention it's 9:25 now, and uh, we still have power. Um, I guess I'll record the exact moment that we lose power. It was really bad a minute ago. Oh yeah, you can kind of see that. So we just lost power a few minutes ago. The lights keep flickering on and off. So I'm actually gonna go out here and to the garage and just pop off the main switch. Hey there, generator, how's it going? All right, so up here, I'm just gonna go ahead and put that flashlight there. I'm just gonna go ahead and flip the main switch off because the lights flickering on and off is just not a good thing, so. By the way, it's uh, about 9.45, and uh, fortunately I'm not seeing any, any uh, leakage in here so far. There was that flickering outside. I wanted to go see what that was. Oh yeah, all my batteries are beeping. So this is the rat's nest of a mess behind my, uh, not the classic games, but the more modern games that I have. And uh, that UPS battery was beeping, so I just turned off that uh, power switch right there. Also, I noticed that my uh, network switch fell off the back here. That sucks. I'm going to have to remount that up there. Uh, yeah. Actually, I should have brought the flashlight out here sooner. I could have seen these... <laughs> Uh, plants blowing around a little bit better, but now that I don't have power, thought I'd see if I could see anything out here. Not too much. Yeah, you really can't see a whole lot out here. But uh, yeah, I think I'm definitely going to go back inside. It's a little too dicey out here for me. Hey, plants, how's it going? You're doing pretty good. There was a branch that fell. Whoop de do. Oh, my neighbor's got some flickering going on over there. Oh, that just went out. Oh, there goes a police car driving by. Oh, man. Fun times. It's about 1030 and I came in the game room to get my power bank. And, uh, you know, with a flashlight, you can actually see out the window. It works a lot better. But 
thought, man, it sounded scary out there. All right, so it's 10.30. Let's take a peek at the pool area. Oh boy, whoa. Uh, I guess my uh, my bricks did not hold, apparently. Yikes, that's uh, scary. And then my other door is perfectly fine though. So I decided to just hold it open with this uh, full container of chlorine and a couple of bricks here. At least it won't be swinging around hitting the, hitting the enclosure here. Uh-oh, looks like we lost another uh, screen panel. I was expecting this. Oh man, that sucks. All right, it's about 7.40 in the morning, and you can hear everybody's got their generators going, including me. It's very loud, so I decided to uh, do this commentary a little bit away from it. So as you can see, I've got it hooked up here, hooked up to the house. And then as you whip around the uh, garage here, you can see the breaker box. And I've basically turned most everything on except for the really really high value uh, wattage devices like the dryer and the stove and a couple of non essentials like the pool pump but uh, most everything else is fine see my yard is just littered with some stuff no big deal really this is usually the worst that we get fortunately we had a tree that was right here that we uh, we took it down. It was kind of leaning over and there wasn't much left to it. So um, otherwise there'd be a lot more stuff in the yard. Also this tree here had a lot of uh, branches and they stuff kept falling off of them like bark and other uh, limbs and stuff like that. So we had it trimmed back. So fortunately not too bad. All right, let's take a look at the backyard a little bit. It looks like my trees made it okay good this one over here looks like it fell down part of it anyways I have to trim that back now uh oh looks like we got a shingle down the pool is looking a little bit clogged up though oh, we got a couple of panels down in the pool cage I've been meaning to have this whole thing redone for a long time, so I guess this is my excuse to do it. And this is the outside of the game room window here. I've got this big bush here that kind of covers it. Looks like it uh, got a little mangled there. Okay, here we are in the game room. I'm gonna go ahead and try the power. Make sure that we got power in here. Oh, it works. Yay, the generator, generator works. Of course, I'm not going to turn these on when the uh, generator's uh, running. It just would take too much juice, unnecessarily. All right, so it's a successful test on the generator, but I really don't need it too much today, so I'm just going to shut it off. There we go. Then I can fill it back up with gas. I mean, I only put like a gallon in it, and it still, still acted like it was empty. So I probably only have about seven gallons, which is all this thing will take to begin with. I mean, it looks like it's got, I mean, not a lot of gas, but enough in there to not show it as E. All right, so I've just about used this entire jug right here. And, whoa, there we go. It's about a third of the way full. go so we're at about uh, just a little under halfway so my wife was just telling me that she thinks this part of the tree right here that's kind of growing in kind of weird she thinks that's part of the banyan tree from Cypress Gardens which I find interesting if that's true but anyway I hope it can be saved because it's uh, kind of been broken up there a little bit all right so I think I'll go ahead and take the plastic down here this thing wants to fall down because I didn't really 
secure it too well. The only thing holding it up here are the boxes. Lynx Jaguar. The Lynx box, I think, held it the best because now it doesn't want to come down. There we go. Good job, Lynx. All right, well, that's basically back to normal. <laughs> I don't remember how I had this set up before, but uh, that's close enough. All right, well, I think that's gonna do it for my storm recap or storm vlog or whatever you wanna call it. We got power back um, about an hour ago and uh, it was out for roughly 24 hours, but I did a little tour, kind of drove around and saw some of the other neighborhoods that were having issues with stuff in their yard. And here you can kind of see it's all piled up here on the sides. Got some trees down over here. More stuff just piled up everywhere. Doesn't look like some people have gotten to cleaning up their yards yet. Maybe they're not home. But overall, we were pretty lucky. There wasn't a whole heck of a lot of damage to worry about. Um, I just hope that the folks that are still experiencing issues have those uh, issues resolved soon, power outages and, you know, trees falling in their house. I've seen that happen before. That's, that's, a, that's, that's really sad when that happens. So I thank everyone for your thoughts and your prayers and, and your well wishes. And now it's time to get back to, well, hopefully normalcy um, sooner rather than later. So anyway, thank you for watching. Take care and we'll see you next time. Bye bye, everybody. That's funny, this sign should be pointing like this way, not this way. So <laughs> it's, uh, it's messed up. Oh, there's another messed up sign. <laughs>